Pepper. And not only that, of course, if you follow House on Twitter and Facebook, you get all tournament updates. And if you donate slash sub to House, all those persons go back into the New York scene and supporting excellent players such as Sinji and uh, Jen. We're going to go straight into winner's finals here. Jen, of course, just winning over Bobo, and Sinji just winning in timeout fashion over John Numbers. So both of these players in game three, so might I might add as well, um, exhausted. So yeah, oh, that's definitely very interesting yeah. because it would obviously make sense, you know, why Jen would want to not really be on Battlefield or FD, but definitely a very, very weird stage to very start out with, only because of what it kind of provides to both of these characters. Like, you definitely have a very small space, but for Sinji, I feel like that hasn't really been working out. Like, Sinji definitely doesn't really benefit for that single okay. platform, but definitely would benefit for something like FD. Um, but for sure, definitely a very good stage to start out with first. Um, oh, ooh, yeah, really interesting. That, that Hydra took uh, hits the very edge of the stage and nearly kills Sinji. And an air dodge regen, so, so on top of that, gets the punish with the F smash, going to take stock number one. And again, taking stock number one for Sinji is so, so huge. You cannot fall in deficit. If any character is maybe as scary as Snake with a lead, it might be Pac Man. Um, okay. Gonna be big damage here, nice 33%. And the air dodge is out. It's going to be even more damage for Jen. Quick 59. And Absolutely. Hydrant finally comes down. Uh, however, Jen still has Sinji in disadvantage. The floatiness of Pac Man really not helping Sinji out. Quick reaction to that roll by Jen. To get Sinji right back into that corner. And again, saving that down throw to get, make sure Sinji is in percent for a down throw into back air, down throw into fair at the late percent range. Apple though. Ooh, and that's going to kill. Very nice. Yeah. At 158%. Yeah, DIing in there was Jen after a dash in. Um, and this cost uh, Jen that stock. Ooh, that dash attack really a little bit ill advised. They maybe try to go for a dash and jab there to send the Hydra at a low angle. Ooh, that that uh, Trump not coming in just in time since so you be able to get back to ledge. But that bear has been so big. Jen has just been running out and doing it as people are falling back down to the ground. And see, here's kind of the thing about the way Jen is playing. We definitely saw it in that last game against Bobo. Jen has definitely been choosing a lot of where he actually wants to place his aggression. It's definitely something that I always love about people who are very aggressive is that they are consistently aware about where they are actually placing, you know, they want to do a dash attack here or they want to control this space here. Definitely really good on Jen's part. Um, he was definitely really controlling that platform through the very first half of this game and it's still definitely controlling. He was definitely controlling a lot of the ledge in that second stock and right now we're in a little bit of a situation where Jen is still even trying to control a lot of the space that was going on right here because at this point Sinji has to be afraid. Sinji has to be very scared about how he goes about taking Ooh. these stocks. Yeah, and Sinji doesn't oh. need to be really careful, but wow, he uses a Hydrant boosted back air there. Really solid by Sinji. Um, and now he's to get some percent. Uh, however, of course, that up air is negative, so Jen is going to be able to respond with the back air. Not getting the roll reaction that time around. However, Jen's still in good positioning. Ooh, that explosive flame was very, very tricky for Jen. Looked like he was going to drift out and back air. However, it goes for a drift in explosive flame. Back air is enough to cat on the catch jump. And that's going to be a stock for Jen. Game number one for Jen. Very, very huge. You want to be at advantage versus Pac Man at all costs, and being up a game is very huge against Sinji. Absolutely, and this is definitely something that I want to notice, uh, or point out, sorry. A lot of the times we've seen both of these players play, it's always been a lot of a situation where Jen ends up being very aggressive. However, Sinji catches on to that aggression and catches on where Jen actually wants to be a little bit more aggressive than other times, and it's definitely a lot of times where he's called it out. Like a lot of the times when Jen wants to consistently stay at ledge, consistently stay, you know, let, um, um, sorry, just ledge trapping. But that's definitely something that I feel like this is what Sinji needs right now. Sinji needs to catch on to a lot of those situations because if he doesn't, we can definitely see another situation where Jin actually takes this set. That was uh, the reason I, I gave the, the very worried reaction that I did is that Jen was mere pixels away from falling into the third hit of, of, of uh, Pac-Man up B. Um, would have been a real early stock for Sinji and a top deficit for um, Jen to come back from. Uh, Sinji in the corner once again. And this is a, kind of a scary counter pick to give Sinji because of the flat walls. It makes catching fruit really easy and allows kind of Sinji to corner camp a little bit. Um, 
and just catch her up the side of the stage without having to do anything crazy to do so, like they might, like Sinji might have to do on a stage like FD or Battlefield. Absolutely, and we're already seeing a lot of situations where Jen has been kind of just harassing yeah. Sinji with all of these tools. However, all that harassing is not going to get you that stock and is going to end up in you losing your stock with only 64% on the board for Sinji. Yeah. And like, while aggression is definitely necessary versus Pac-Man, and we've noticed so far, uh, you know, these dash-ins have, have been, uh, generally speaking, good for, um, for Jen. The, the dash-in there, Sinji's starting to clearly catch on, throws the bell, takes the stock. And right now, getting a little bit of that extra credit, juicy extra damage. Um, oh, should be dead. Ooh, no, okay, drifted in a little too much there. Did Jen not gonna be able to get that stock off just yet? But that back is really big for beating out that Hydrant. Oh, that's a missed opportunity for Jen there. Not gonna be super duper costly, but since he does have Jen in the corner, so this could lead to some more. Okay, this is definitely getting very scary. Sinji is still on his first stock, and I definitely love the way he's just been controlling. Obviously, this game, this is something not really entirely new, but it's definitely one of those things where Sinji is again going to start slowing down the pace of the match, and it's definitely where if, you know, Jen doesn't really do something about it is where we're going to start seeing a little bit more of his favorite game. A nice bait by Sinji. doesn't end up working out for him there. Uh, however, Jen is... Yeah, he's, oh. oh, he died. Oh. Okay, backstage though. It doesn't end up not losing that stock for You need to take the stock off. This is very similar to the situation we saw where John was down a, a full stock against um, Sinji, where we kind of just be like, okay, take the stock and then get some extra damage next stock. You don't have to get a kill. DIN though, almost killing Jen once more. Nice, that, that Nair clanks allows Jen to get back down to the floor against Apple. Oh, and Apple again, not gonna be enough just yet though. Sinji is tossing out those apples. Wow, and the orange that time around, reading the jump. Really nice by Sinji. And an apple again on the explosive flame punish. And this is looking tough for Jen thus far. Absolutely, and definitely what did it here is the fact that Sinji took the lead pretty early, and this is where it's gonna be, we're gonna have to see a definite early stock. I feel like if Jen goes a little bit harder off stage, we can definitely see another situation if like Jen would actually be able to take the stock pretty early. Jen got some soft, especially off stage. We've yeah. been seeing the sauce. We, we saw that in that game number three, stock two against Bobo, how how good Jen is in an advantage state. However, Pac-Man's even more evasive than Snake is, um, and it can be really really tough for Pal to catch up with a character like Pac-Man off the stage. So we're gonna need to see something crazy for Jen to get back into this game. And 76% on stock number one is not a good look thus far. Um, for Jen as we move forward, looking very likely that we'll be looking, going to be looking at a game three moving forward. Yeah, and we are. Absolutely. That was very good on Sinji's part, only because um, Sinji definitely had a lot of that pressure on the shield right there. Like, Jen, Jen's shield was looking very small right there. Yeah. But definitely very good. Had Bell in hand, was able to take that game. Ooh. Yeah, and this is Red the Rollback. That's a punish. Sinji has it, and that's an S-Smash. And of course, um, your typical Pac-Man stuff, but a nice read by Sinji there um, on that rollback. Um, no? What stage are we going? Uh, we are going to a small battlefield, but it looks like they're changing. Mm. Oh, oh. Maybe not. I don't know how Sinji caught that, because <laughs> it definitely understood that they were going to small battlefield, but yeah. it was on big battlefield. Oh. You're on. That would that would not be fun against Pac-Man. <laughs> Can you imagine Pac-Man running away from you on Big Battlefield? You're on oh, Big no. Battlefield now. You're not no. running away. You, I'm running away from you. Bye. Yeah. No, we want to be on Small Battlefield. And uh, again, I do like this pick a lot from Jen. However, we're going to see how well it works out. All right. Okay. Quick grab. Going to be able to get some percent here. Oh, no. Ends up not being able to. Since being able to take on the platform is really huge there. Nice DI um, to get positioned to tech there as well. Okay. I definitely love this stage choice from Jen, specifically because it's another battlefield, and we've definitely seen Jen have a lot of good times on, on battlefield. Sorry, but maybe just the added effect of you know Sinji not having that extra platform might actually help. There's gonna be a lot of situations where we're kind of forced to scrap, and that actually 
you know, kind of works a little bit more in Jin's favor. Jin wants to probably scrap with a lot of these characters, or a lot of um, Pac-Man's tools. Yeah, the thing is, though, Pac-Man can't scrap. Pac-Man has the frame data, and Shinji has shown that thus far, um, that in, on this smaller stage, has done just fine. However, this ledge trap situation for Jen is huge. We have seen how potent he has been at the ledge trap. Looking for a roll read in there. Jen does not give it to uh, Shinji right away. Throwing off that timing, and Shinji's going to retreat back to that platform. Charging that fruit up. Looking for an opening. Gets one with dash attack. Ooh, Ooh off air on the jump read. Super nice by Sinji. It's going to be able to take the wow. stock as well. Absolutely. That was a very good stock. Overshooting right there from Sinji and able to take that stock. And we're definitely going to see maybe even a little bit of a repeat of what happened that second game. All right. Okay, nice. The reaction by Jen. Super good there on the roll. Immediate grab. Ooh, are, are we yeah. going to see it? Nope. Ooh, there, oh, yeah. there you go. go. That is absolutely um, going to take that sock. And that's actually what happened in that second game against Sinji. It was only the fact that the Kalos platforms worked against Jen. Yeah. With that said, though, we are looking at a better situation for Jen here in the corner once again. Let's trapping Sinji. Rolls out once again. And the timing on those rolls have been pretty nice. She's gotten red a couple times. However, has gotten out of disadvantage because of it quite a few as well. That fair, pressuring Shinji really, really well. Um, and now this is where Jen makes his money. Off the stage, ledge trapping. Can you get back? Shinji does. Does Nutri get an immediate jump fair to maintain that stage control? Can Jen get back into advantage? At the very least, gets back into neutral now. Ooh, grab, misses there. Down not going to be able to punish, and that Nair will be able to do just that. Down tilt. Okay. Ooh, Bam. and that is absolutely going to take... This is another situation where we had where Jen was pretty much in advantage the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. A um, couple like, like instances of neutral in between. But um, for the most part, yeah, Jen was in, in advantage for a long time. There might have been one or two more neutral wins. But um, really, uh, and Jen, speaking of, takes it's a whole lot of damage in advantage that time around. 42% already onto Sinji. And this is what you want to see as Jen. Getting into this bit of percent lead. Being able to not necessarily need to approach Sinji now. Sinji has to come to you now. And uh, the, the Sinji coming to you thing, not good for Sinji. Oh, almost dies there to the turn on back air. Okay, mm. that, down, that down air not coming out fast enough. Not super duper fast with that move. Nice, using the Hydro to stall there by Sinji. And he's going to be able to get back to stage because of just that. All right, Sinji's going to use that tilt to grab it there. However, it's going to lose that bell immediately right afterward. Wilson's get an opportunity to charge through your nose. Go straight for that bear. Knows how dry the situation is. Down throw. Gonna DI out. Oh, looking for that air dodge out. And that was a great mix up, actually, by Jen. Because Shinji has air dodged out every single time there. However, Shinji mix finally mixing it up himself with a neutral air dodge in that situation. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Uh, that's the mix up. You just mm -hmm. saw it. Um, and Jen sitting in. Uh, Grand's winner's side over Sinji. Here he and uh, Prince of New York is back. But we've been know that. We've been know that. We've been so. new. We've been we've been new. We've been heard. Yeah, and that was really great. And we, we just saw that mix on the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. So Jen said, "Ah, you're um probably gonna fall into the same habit you did last time." Yep. Um. So like the one time that you mixed up, I almost guarantee you're not gonna do that again. So let's go back to the rerun and mm -hmm. weird eyes out. You're gonna die. And that's gonna be it. Um. And Jen again. Rand's winner side. With that said, folks, 